creating a sphere standard primitive. Let's go up into the sphere object type. And down here, we can set the radius. And we also can set the number of segments in the radius. And by default, it's 32. So let's just, and we also have smooth. By default, this will make a smooth sphere. If I uncheck it, it'll be a faceted sphere. So let's uncheck it. And let's go in and see that there's a faceted sphere right there. When I check the smooth on, it smooths it out. All right. And now let's go in and do another sphere. This time, let's make a hemisphere. All right. We're going to set the hemisphere. The default value is zero, which is a full sphere. A 0.5 is a half a sphere. All right. And one is no sphere at all. So let's go at 5.5. And now I'm going to come down and pick and pick my hemisphere. The chop means I'm just chopping off the bottom half and all my division lines stay the same. When I squash it, I double up the division lines. In other words, get more little increments or facets uh, with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Let's do one more here. Let's go up to sphere. Now let's come in and put the slice on. And we're going to set the slice from 0 to, say, 90. And I'm going to create a sphere. And you'll see that it cuts out a hunk. And that hunk is a 90 degree hunk, essentially. Right? So you can see it from the top view up here, cut out 90 degrees. So we have down here our parameters in the parameter rollout. And it's really handy. And if I check the base to pivot uh, checkbox, then the pivot point of the sphere will be its base. All right. So these are the parameters of our sphere standard primitive.